Is he worth $54.99? Somebody took a marker to that one. Let's send the to Toys R Us. High prices. $39.99. Ace Malibus. $42.99. $44.99. $36.99. $49.99. $84.99. $79.99 $79 for the 10 to 4. Atrocitus. Tro- Atrocitus. Atrocitus. They literally just exploded with NECA over the past couple of months. God, I just found this island and look at this. Oh my God. I want to give a huge shout out to all my Patreon and channel member supporters. Thank you so much for your support, guys. It really means a lot and really helps the channel to keep growing. All right, I'm just going to head into uh, Markville Mall and see if uh, they have anything interesting today. All right, guys, wish me luck. All right, let's head to Markville Mall. All right, let's head to Toys R Us. Always great to be on a Toys R Us. Look, it's Thomas and Friends. <laughs> All right, let's head over to the action figure section. We're here by the Star Wars section. Uh, just your normal stuff, pretty much. High prices, $39.99 for Baze Malibus, $42.99 for Bo-Katan Kreese. $44.99 for the Short Trooper, all these carbonized versions. They do have this, whoa, $49.99 for Boba Fett from uh, Throne Room Boba Fett. Wow, that is not cheap, man. Crazy. Uh, but you know what? When you think about it, if this is $44.99 for a Short Trooper and that's $49.99 for Boba Fett, hmm, makes you wonder. Makes you wonder. $36.99 for Antok Merrick, not bad. We have uh, Sergeant Creel here. Pretty cool. They're probably going to do the whole wave now. We got Black Chrysanthemum, Princess Leia. Very cool. Rekka. Saw Gerrera, $49.99. Hmm. Looks like they're tr- trying to get the prices down a little bit because these were, these were god awful expensive at one point. Uh, there's, there's where it was before, for $54.99 for Wrecker. Like, seriously, does that make any sense? Look at that. All new tooling. Some, to- some you know, mostly new tooling. Mm. Again, pricing is kind of off-wall right now. $84.99 for the Navarra Cantina. $79.99 for the Tent of Four. And this is where it really doesn't make sense. <clears throat> that's $42.99. And that's $49.99. Yeah, which one are you going to pick up? Exactly. Nothing else on here except for maybe Ahsoka Tano. She does look amazing. The Mandalorian Ahsoka Tano from the Retro Collection. Lando. Yeah, not much else. A couple of plushies. Yeah. We got Magneto over there. The new Iron Man. That's always cool to see. Very rarely see him. Very cool. Do you like the way he looks? It's like a cross between the traditional Iron Man, like, a, you know, the 80s Iron Man. Sorry, ni- sorry, 80s and 90s Iron Man, and a little bit of the new stuff for today. All the other figures in this series. Speedball. Still have yet to see him in the wild. Loki, Falcon, West Coast Avengers, Winter Soldiers, Ravager Thor. Yeah, the whole, the whole line. What happened to Fastos Beard? Dude. Oh, man. Somebody took a marker to that one. Holy crap. That's just strange, buddy. Crazy. $36.99 for those. $69.99 for the 40, 20th anniversary Hulk. There's a more traditional Iron Man from way back in the day. $49.99 for that. Eek. $59.99 for Thor. Uh, Defender Strange. Yeah, a couple of other ones. We have the Mighty Thor here with Manolia. His spinning... Hama. All those uh, retro carded Spider Man figures. Yeah, that's about it. Titania Man, Captain America, Bucky, and Wolverine. Seems to be about it. Additional 50% off for all of the Titan Hero series. Yeah, not bad. Alright, guys, let's get going. And over here by the Power Ranger section, we have all the turtle crossovers. A couple of the uh, Cobra Kai crossovers for the Turtles. Yeah, Lightning Collection, that Red Space Ecliptor. Nothing else we haven't seen but high, high prices. $44.99 for Power Rangers. What are they thinking? Oh my god. $23.98 um, clearance on Andros. $38.98 for, uh, for the Baroness. That's been on sale forever. We have a whole bunch of Croc Masters. Of course there's no price. A ton of them too. At least, at least eight Croc Masters there. Uh, Scarlet, $44.99 for Joe's. My God, just crazy. This keeps up. It's going to be 
harder to harder and harder to collect Joes at uh, at Toys R Us. Battle Cat's on the uh, Revelations Battle Cat is on sale for thirty eight thirty eight. That awesome King Grey Skull for sixty bucks. You've got to be kidding me. Just crazy. Forty forty nine ninety nine for uh, Faker. Oh boy. Flock Panther sixty four ninety nine. Who is going to pick these things up? Forty nine ninety nine for Stridor. Just crazy. A couple of figures. I'm not even going to bother looking because all the cards are wrecked anyway. Uh, Savage He-Man, the best value. Seriously? Look at that. Look at that. And that's not exactly the best price either. But then Beastman here. Oh my god. $54.99. Jeez. Very, very good figure. Amazing figure. But is he worth $54.99? I don't know. $49.99 for Triclops. <clears throat> yeah, just crazy. Black Adam has finally arrived here. Toys R Us. Looking pretty good. Pretty neat. The eyes are a bit odd sometimes, but not too bad. Lobo, Aquaman, Godspeed. Yeah, the whole, basically the now it's the the full Black Adam line is here. No one else we haven't seen already or that interesting, unfortunately. Yeah, I think uh, Dwayne Johnson there is the most interesting one. DC Direct action figures, including the deceased line. All McFarlane action figures and vehicles are 20% off. Now is a good time to do it, guys. If you're looking to pick up any of the DC figures, including Shazam! I'm just getting blackout. <coughs> Sorry, guys. Yeah, pretty cool figures, man. Pretty cool. And this is a really great time to pick up uh, some of these animated figures. Like, seriously. Very, very good time. Alright guys, let's get going. Still have all the clearances for the Ghostbusters. Looks like uh, this kids version of the uh, Ecto-1 is 2518. They're not putting um, F Family Bus Together on sale for whatever reason. But everything else is on sale. 1848 for all the Plasma series, including the kids. Not bad. Alright, let's get out of here. And we have some metal figs here. Mostly all these uh, bulkheads, Dracula which will never move. $89.99 for... Uh... See, this is a leader class, and that's a special edition nobody wants. Just crazy. That's uh, Laser, Laser Optimus Prime. We do have um, Galvatron. And that is, the, that is the extent of the Transformers section. Can you believe it, guys? This used to be this entire section plus some. Artemis Prime down there, $139.99. My god, just crazy. All right, let's get going. Oh my God, I just found this island, and look at this. Oh my God, there were like eight of them in the other section. Now there's like another uh, eight of them here. Sixteen to six ninety nine. Any wonder why they're still here? Thirty eight eighty eight for Baroness. Prantis head is here. More of those turtles. My God, what is going on, guys? And here are the rest of those special editions. We have the Infinities uh, Darth Vader, which is basically just. White Darth Vader. Is he a good Darth Vader? I just don't know. Yep, we got Jackson, Head of the Empire, Luke. Yep. All these uh, Gar uh, Gar Gar Garen Enzo, uh, Galen Enzo, Air bleh. Galen Erzo, thirty-seven ninety-nine. Ragnarok, Thor, and the Winter Soldier, the Hulk, and Iron Man. Crazy man, crazy. Yeah, I found a couple of fish tanks. <laughs> They got some architecture Lego, some really cool uh, displays for some of the DC Direct stuff, including Cyclonus over here. He's got light piping, I did not know that. Wow, his eyes are glowing. That is very cool. Yep, Galvatron, lift ticket, all these awesome Batmobiles. Oh my god, look at all those, those. Those are very, very cool. And down here we have all the expensive NECA from the Holothon. So yeah, you can see all those prices. Just insane. Oh my gosh. And Hello Kitty for some reason. How's Hello Kitty in there? Anyway, if you want them, you have to ask them. Crazy. Alright, let's get going. And over here we have the walls of NECA. Oh my gosh, just crazy. Well, you've seen pretty much all of them, but you know, just a quick overview Ultimate Grembler Flasher, the new batch, Ultimate Brain, uh, Greta. I don't know what this. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> Hitting the books. Like, I, I don't even remember this, uh, this gremlin, but whatever. All right, we got Aliens, Predators, Judgment Day, 
Back to the Future, King Kong, Halloween, Ultimate Michael Myers, with a light up, light up lick, uh, flickering pumpkin. Very, very crazy. Fifty nine ninety nine for that. Right, Ghostface, American Werewolf from London. They still got the spider on uh, this Ultimate Mike Myers and Dr. Loomis. King Kong, Halloween 2, The Thing, Evil Ash. Like, seriously. Honestly, you guys got to take the, the spider off here. Nobody can see what's inside, so they're not buying it. Jeez Louise. Another American Werewolf in London. Ultimate Hellraiser. Hellraiser, sorry. King Kong. Friday the 13th, It. Wow. They literally just exploded with NECA over the past couple of months. Like, insane. All right, guys, let's get out of here. I'm actually really happy they have uh, books now. <laughs> the entire Harry Potter collection. Multiple different uh, versions, you know, whether they trade paperback, hard, hard, hardcover, or, uh, you know, oversized. Beautiful stuff. You got all these plushies here for, for, um, for Harry Potter, too. Like, crazy. Right? And, of course, they got manga. Manga, 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 manga. Insane. It always amazes me that Toys R Us is carrying manga right now. And of course, they have to have your parental advisory. Very, very careful, guys. Not for children. All right, guys, let's keep going. All right, didn't find anything at Toys R Us, so I'm gonna head over to uh, GameStop and see if they have anything there. All right, guys, wish me luck. All right, let's head into GameStop. Man, it's busy today. I see some Star Wars stuff up there. It looks like a new Darth Vader helmet. That would be very cool. Uh, Black Zarek. Looks like uh, that awesome... Megatron helmet. Looks wicked. And some other things, but nothing really too standout-ish. Let's have a quick look. Okay. Excuse me, guys. Yeah, Marvel's Hood. Princess Leia Organa. Uh, tank Driver. The Armor Credit Collection. Nobody's buying that. Vision. Iron Man Legends. Legion. Master Mordo. Yeah, we got Aura Sing. Oh, wow. Surprised. I finally got in Sabretooth. He was hard to get for the longest time. Wow. Just crazy. Looks like they'll have a whole bunch of the Bonebreaker Wave, Vulcan. And a couple of the legacy figures as well. Nakia. There's Maggot. Very cool. Oh, wait a second. Who's that? Oh, ho, 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 ho. There's one for the ages. Let's see how much this guy is, because he was it was forty nine forty nine ninety nine at uh, at Wal at sorry at uh, Toys R Us. How much is he here? Forty forty nine ninety nine, same price, but with the edge, it's forty nine ninety nine, forty four ninety nine. Not bad. That one's a little at least a little bit better. At least a little bit better. A couple of dollars off. And of course, Crockmaster Fiona. Let's find out how much they are. Oh, sixty seven ninety nine. Wow. Prices are not getting any cheaper, guys. Not at all. All right, let's keep going. Damn it, I just noticed up here they have a Cobra Officer. Always cool to see him in the wild. More Cobra Officers. Yep, there's a ton of them up there. Wow, that's a lot of Cobra Officers. Insane. Crazy. Right, we got Roblox up there and another Croc Master. Crazy. All right, I guess that's it. Let's get going. Oh, wow. They do have that, uh... What's it? Uh, Lord Draken helmet. Wow, just crazy. All right, let's get going. On this side, we don't have too much that we haven't seen already. There's All Might up there. We got that Scorpina 2-pack. There's that Fire Nation Komodo Rhino. Very, very cool. Definitely gonna pick that up one day. A whole bunch of Witcher figures from the TV series, the Dread Pirate Roberts. I am gonna pick this guy up one day. Love the Princess Bride, thirty-four ninety-nine. Prices really have uh, pretty much risen in the last couple of months. There's Buttercup. Here's Wesley. Very cool, bloodied Wesley. Here's Enigma Montoya, all bloodied up. And <clears throat> Buttercup in her wedding dress. Very cool. We have that Avatar Ang. Definitely have to pick up this guy eventually. He looks amazing. And that seems to be about it. Nothing else on this side. Uh, Jaskier. Yeah. Not too much else. 
couple of statues, Revelations Battle Cat. We have that crazy man bat. He's incredible. Yeah, Adam Smasher. Yep, King Shark. Oh, he's big. He's big. 40, uh, Warhammer 40,000? Wow. That's one crazy figure right there. You gotta hand it to McFarlane, man. They know how to sculpt. Some crazy Batman. Never seen him before. It's interesting. Yep, there's Black Adam. Good to see him. He's got a pretty good set of eyes, too. Uh, Dr. Fate. Uh, they're putting comics back with action figures. Don't know if that's actually going to work anytime soon, but we'll see what happens. Yeah, not much else. Martian Manhunter. Gold uh, Wonder Woman Anti-Crisis. Uh, there's Wonder Woman for the King Frost. Yeah, and we have Green Lantern, Kyle Rayner. Okay, somebody tell me how to how to pronounce that. Atrocitus. Atro Atrocitus. Atrocitus. I'm just gonna say something that I don't know. Right? They have the whole wave here for this. Look at that. They've even got Batman. And he's a lantern, I think. Yeah. The complete build a figure here. Wow. Look at that. Death Storm. Yep, that's the whole line right there. Including air. <coughs> Black Adam for the Frost King as well. Crazy. Alright guys. Uh, always good to find a full Build-A-Figure. That is always a good thing. Crazy. Alright, let's get out of here. Alright, I'm probably going to end up picking this up one day. $49.99 for the Cowabunga collection. Basically every single 16-bit... Ninja Turtle game ever released. Very cool. And actually some of the epic ones too. Cool. Wow. <laughs> I'm glad I finally got this one. I couldn't find Krill for a second. That's okay. Thank you very much. Have a good you too. Have a good weekend. You too. Alright guys, so just picked up my uh, pre-orders for uh, uh, Sergeant Creel and I think it's uh, Jesse from uh, from the uh, Star Wars Rebels. Well, sorry, no. Um, the Clone Wars, which was crazy, man. I love that series. Also, I got lucky and I was able to pick up $20 uh, Pink Ranger Morpher, which has been something I've been looking for for quite some time. Had to actually bring it in from uh, Vancouver, believe it or not. Crazy. All right, guys. I'm off to Walmart. I'll see you guys there. All right, guys. Uh, it was pretty good. Uh, pretty good hunt today. Picked up some great stuff. Mostly uh, pre-orders, but that's okay. All right, guys. Let's uh, have a look and see what we got on today's haul. All right, here we go. So, got some pretty good items today. Very excited about these. First one that we picked up. Is our pre-order for, yes, the Clone Wars, Arc Trooper Jesse, yeah. Honestly, Jesse was awesome, loved him in the series. One of the last guys to actually, uh, unfortunately, succumb to Order 66, and yeah, he was in that last scene with uh, Ahsoka and uh, Captain Rex. Still, very, very memorable uh, figure in the Clone Wars. Very, very cool to finally get Arc Trooper Jesse. Sweet! Vintage Collection. Awesome. Then, <clears throat> we were able to pick up, finally, Captain Creel. Sergeant Creel, sorry, Sergeant Creel. Yeah. Man, these are not cheap, I gotta tell you. Holy crap. Love the artwork at the front. Takes on uh, Jedi Master Luke, of all things. Holy crap. Sergeant Creel. And freaking incredible. Holy crap. So, let's just open them up. Yeah. Yep, seen him a bunch of times, but honestly, it's always great to see him in person. Love this guy. Can't wait to actually get him out of the package. It is one of those things. This is going to be so much fun. He does look pretty cool. It's got some additional uh, features. 
comes with his own freaking lightsaber, which he probably took off of a dead Jedi. <laughs> I don't know much about Sergeant Quill, but he does look pretty awesome. Love the way his, uh, his armor is set up, too. Very, very cool. All right, and <laughs> the very last item is something that I've been hunting for for quite some time. Believe it or not, I had to actually call Vancouver and get them to ship this over, but it was well worth it. Love this. Oh my gosh, yes! Yes, yes, yes. Finally got it, guys. The Pink Ranger Morpher. So this uh, this one on clearance, holy crap, this was like 60 bucks at one point, I think. I think actually it was a little bit more expensive than that. Yeah, finally went on clearance for 19 1990, 1998, so crazy, oh my gosh, just crazy, and yeah, looking so wicked, love it, love it, love it, love it, the reason I picked this up, actually, because I already have a bunch of morphers, is this one's, like, kind of special, it's actually adorned in pink, it actually has a pink buckler, and check out that display stand, that, to me, was actually well worth the price of admission, very, very cool, has a whole bunch of different light-up effects, and yeah, super excited to finally get this version of the Morpher. Sweet! So yeah, guys, picked up some really, really cool uh, pickups for this, uh, for, for this hunt. So awesome. Well, guys, another amazing hunt in the bag. And picked up a whole bunch of different figures, including Arc Trooper Jesse, that amazing Sergeant Creel, and of course, that uh, Pink Morpher. This is incredible. Guys, if you enjoyed this episode, please do leave me a like. It really does help me out. Hope you guys are all doing well. Staying safe. And as always, everybody, thank you very much for watching. <laughs> Keep proud, everybody. Keep proud.